We're here with Derek Harrison, otherwise known as Rance Derek. If anybody's a fan of YouTube, they may have come across Rance Derek in one of his rants where he's smoking his cigarette <laughs> and uh, feeding his horses and just talking about politics in general in Canada. So it was a great privilege to finally meet up with him. Here we are in Gatineau, Quebec at the People's Party of Canada Candidates Conference. So what brings you here? You're not a candidate, no. Rance. What are you, media? I'm media. I'm just covering the event. I've been a big supporter of the PPC since the beginning. Even before the beginning, I was thinking Max was going to split off and do his own party after the whole debacle between the Conservative leadership race and how many extra ballots there were. I was pushing for Max to go out on his own. Not yeah. that he ever knew, but I was. <laughs> so what about the policies? I know that for watching your, uh, your rants, your videos on YouTube, that you're pretty much simpatico with much of what the People's Party has to say. Is there any particular policies that have attracted you to the party? Almost everything he has to say. I mean, the immigration policy, um, repealing the Indian Act. There's, there's not. I don't think there's any part of his platform that I disagree with. Yeah, I think the, I think the feeling is mutual here with, uh, with Just Right Media is that we're very much in line with the rational, as he calls, common sense uh, platform that the People's Party have put out. And uh, what do you think of the? What is your impression of the candidates' conference here today? There's got to be 700 to 1,000 people here. It's not every day you get to be around like-minded folks. Yeah. Uh, it conversations go very easily. You don't have to worry about tripping over your feet or you know biting your tongue about anything. It's just natural, normal conversation. No PC freedom of speech. It is. It's everybody's on. Seems to be on the same page. Everybody's happy to be here. So yeah, it's really nice. I'm surprised how many people knew who I was when I got here. Actually. Oh come on. <laughs> they don't know my the face. hat. The tats. They don't know my face. It's my hands. They know. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I understand that you started ranting or your YouTube channel not that long ago, and yet you've probably got close to 7,000 subscribers, which is quite considerable. Uh, what do you think it is that attracts people to your rants? Uh, probably being uncensored. I do not represent the party in any official capacity whatsoever, but I do support the party and everything they say. So whatever the PPC can, can't say, I'll say it. <laughs> and there's some things that people would rather hear with uh, sit down and listen to somebody having a beer with them say it because it's more relatable I call it a mix between Trailer Park Boys and Rick Mercer <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty apt I think that's pretty apt yeah <laughs> and the comments on your YouTube channel basically favorable yeah for the most part I mean you get a few trolls that try to drag you out but they just waste your time there's no point I've gotten death threats I've gotten all kinds of stuff yeah. Once you put your face out there in public, it's fair game. There's been a recent hit piece on you, I understand. You want to talk about that? Sure. Uh, Press Progress is what I like to call the propaganda arm of the NDP. It was founded by Ed Broadbent, the former leader of the NDP, and it's funded by the, the Broadbent Institute. And they like to call it a think tank and a progressive think tank, whatever else. It's just to slander people and push out their propaganda. And we proved that with, uh, with how badly they slandered me. And what exactly did they say? Well, they called me a white supremacist, a racist. They said an altercation that I had before that I had told the gentleman to go back to his country, go back to his s-hole country, and I never would have said that. <clears throat> never would say that. Yeah. So it's just not in my character to do such things. Can we expect a video in the future rebutting uh, what they're saying, or do you want to just leave trolls like that alone? Uh, I've already done a small video rebutting it and just exposing to who they are. So if, as long as people check out who the source is, but in this particular case you can't because the author didn't even leave their name in the article. Mm -hmm. So it's just a hit piece, no recourse, and nobody will be held accountable for it. Anom anonymous name calling, a typical kind of response we can expect, expect I guess, from such people. Yeah. yeah. Now what about uh, politics? Let's get into some politics here. Uh, here we are in Gatineau, basically the capital region of the country. Not far from here, of course, is where Trudeau and his minions uh, determined policy and, plat and, and uh, law for this nation. Where has Justin Trudeau and the Liberals brought this nation in your mind? They have done a successful job of dividing this nation. Racism was not a problem until 2015 when they made it a problem. 
they started saying the words over and over and over again, programming Canada to think that it's a hateful, racial, racist place. Mm. It's the same ideology that Catherine McKenna was pushing while she was out in Nova Scotia, saying you say it loud enough and you keep repeating it, eventually it becomes truth. Yeah. And that seems to be their whole ball game here. So the uh, People's Party under Maxime Bernier is more of a unity party because they don't fall for that victim ideology, that victimhood status and, and, and hyphenated Canadian status. Would you agree? I do agree with that. And that's one thing. It really exposes who gets special treatment when you try to treat everybody equally and the same. That's when you expose who wants special treatment. Mm. Well, it's been a great pleasure meeting you. Pleasure Love your videos. Look forward to your future ones and keep those horses fed. Thanks very much, Derek. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers.